Today we will provide an update on couples from 90 Day Fiancé Season 9. Stay tuned to find out which couples have gotten married and are still together. There are many indications that 90 Day Fiancé couple Kara and Guillermo are married and still together in the United States. Kara met Venezuelan native Guillermo in the Dominican Republic during her vacation, and they soon started a relationship. When an opportunity emerged to work in the Dominican Republic, Kara has decided to make the move, and her 5-year junior boyfriend had soon moved in with her. Unlike some other 90-day couples, Kara and Guillermo had no issues communicating in common tongue, as Guillermo is fluent in English and Kara speaks Spanish. On her social media, Kara shared that she learned Spanish from her friend's family and that she also speaks Chinese. We know that the couple did get married as confirmed by InTouch. They have tied the knot on July 23, 2021. Kara is currently working as a real estate agent in her native Virginia, and at the beginning of the season, she shared a post of Guillermo watching 90 Day Fiancé with her. Kara's friends have also spoiled the couple getting married by commenting during season's premiere about watching Kara and her husband's journey from their engagement to their wedding. By the midpoint of the season, Bilal and Shaida have had a lot of arguments. The couple clashed over Bilal's infamous prank, his reluctance to come clean about not really wanting to have children, and the Missouri native constantly lecturing his fiance. However, surprisingly, the couple had made the relationship work, and Bilal and Shaida got married within the 90 days as proven by the marriage license. Apparently, Bilal and Shaida tied the knot in December of 2021. The couple is confirmed to still be together, as they've appeared on multiple interviews in the past weeks. In one of the interviews, Bilal hinted that he reconsidered wanting to have kids. There are rumors circulating that you two are married. I know you can't say anything when it comes to that, but the Jamaican wants to know, Bilal, how are you feeling about Shida at this point? Is she currently wife material or are you still having second thoughts? I would say she's she's a person who has a, a strong value, a, a person who is definitely somebody who, if I didn't, somebody would definitely wife her up quick. So, and um, I don't know, I just felt that she had the essence of things that I was looking for when it comes to great motherly qualities um, for my children and any future children to come. Fans might recognize Patrick from his time as a professional weightlifter. He was suspended from the sport after he tested positive for human growth hormone in 2012. Unfortunately, that wasn't Patrick's last violation. After being suspended, Patrick started competing for Brazil, but he once again tested positive for another illegal substance, which resulted in his career's end. Before 90 Day Fiancé, Patrick traveled to Brazil to reconnect with his father, who left the United States to retire in his native country. During the trip, Patrick met Thais on Tinder, and they started a relationship. The big drama in the couple's storyline was the fact that Patrick wasn't living alone when Thais came to the United States. Following his previous failed relationship, the Texas native decided to share his home with his brother. It was reported that Patrick has actually sold his house in Austin, Texas at the end of last year. Thais, Patrick and his brother moved to a rental property in Dallas, Texas during the season. While it is unknown if Patrick's brother still lives with the couple, we can presume that Thais and Patrick still live together. The pair posts mutual photos to social media, and while we don't have a marriage record yet, it is safe to assume that they have gotten married, seeing that Thais has been living in the United States for over 90 days, and is still together with Patrick. Muhammad first met Eve via social media. He saw her on Instagram and was impressed by how in shape she was. The couple shares a 23-year age gap. After talking online, Eve visited Mohammed in Egypt, and during that trip, she took his virginity, and the couple got engaged. 
Once Muhammad arrived to the United States, the couple clashed over cultural and religious differences, with Muhammad expecting Eve to dress modestly and adhere to his standards, and potentially even convert to Islam. He also anticipated that Eve would be taking care of him as his mom did. I expected her to cook for me, because my mom, she usually cooks for me and watch my needs. So if I need something, I expect Eve to do the same. While Muhammad expressed that if Eve doesn't prioritize his needs, he would go back to Egypt, the couple apparently have gotten married in the United States. They have recently posted mutual photos when they went to a recording studio. In her social media post, Eve stated that Muhammad is very supportive of her dreams and the differences between them only make their bond stronger. Ariel and Biniam have not confirmed or spoken out about their marriage rumors, but it seems that Bini is still in the United States and living in New Jersey with Ari and their son Avi, which would imply that they have gotten married. At this point, Biniam has been living in the United States for almost a year, while he was supposed to marry Ariella within the first 90 days after coming to the country. Nati Day Fiance Instagram blogger at Nati Day Couple posted screenshots taken from Ariella's brother Brad's Instagram stories late last year, showing Brad holding baby Avi, who was dressed in a formal suit. The location was tagged as a synagogue based in central New Jersey. In one of the portraits, Biniam was wearing a metallic black and gold jacket while standing next to a rabbi and what appeared to be a film crew. As to whether Ari and Bini are still together, it seems like they are. Ari took to Instagram in April of 2022 to share a sweet birthday tribute to her rumored husband. Bini posts a lot of content from the United States to his social media, including lots of pictures of him and his son. Interestingly, Ariella spent a few weeks this year volunteering in Ethiopia without Bini, presumably because he didn't have the travel permit yet. Jibri met Serbian beauty Miona during one of his many trips to Serbia. Before 90 Day Fiancé, Jibri was a frontman of a band called Black Serbs. This is one of the reasons why some fans accused the couple of chasing clout. Clout chasing? Of course I'm chasing the clout, bro. Of course. I got a message, bro. I got a message to spread on this world. You should chase you some clout. And don't get high off the clout, too. People are like, you've been on a reality show for a clout. You're making music for a clap. No shit. What y'all think? What y'all think I'm doing it for? There is a rumor that Miona and Jabri had gotten married prior to 90 Day Fiancé. The rumor stems from Jabri's interview to a Serbian outlet in 2020, where he called Miona his wife. This has been my second home, and now my, my wife's Serbian and my, my life Serbian. Regardless of when the couple got married, it is certain that they are still together and going strong. Jibri addressed online criticism about Miona being a gold digger. Hey, I'll check my DMs and be like 50 messages. Your girl's a gold digger. She's, a, she's this. She's only with you for money. With me for money? Ma, have you seen my, Have you seen Miona? You see how beautiful she was? If she was with me for money, she chose the wrong dude. <laughs> we starting from the bottom. We starting from the mud. We starting from the concrete. If Miona, Miona, Miona would be on a goddamn yacht in Miami right now, laying out. You know what I mean? If she really wanted to do this for money, she ain't with me for the money, bro. She with me because she see the real me, the potential in me. And she sees that we could create a family. Jabri, spreading positive love and light and energy. Sipping on some nice tea. You feel me? Jibri and Miona currently reside in Palm Springs, California, and they post a lot of sweet photos together. Emily met Kobe when she traveled to China. He's 34 years old and he's from Douala, Cameroon. I love black guys, so of course I found the only black guy in China. But he's also an international underwear model, you know, obviously that's a perk too. The couple hooked up and soon realized that Emily got pregnant. They have decided to get married in the United States, but due to the pandemic, Kobe was stuck in his native country and wasn't able to travel to the United States and see his son until he was 17 months old. 
Once Kobe has arrived to this stage, the couple had multiple arguments, and they both noted that their expectations about each other didn't live up to reality. Kobe and Emily definitely had one of the most tumultuous relationships on this season. It is, therefore, a little surprising that they are still together, as evidenced by them appearing in an interview together. He's the nicest guy I've ever been with. Like, oh, wow. It still blows my mind that I met him in China at a bar and like, thank God he is as great as he is because I could have ended up with someone, you know, <laughs> totally opposite of him and I like, to this day, I am mind blown. The couple also support each other on social media and clap back at haters. Do you have a favorite couple on this season? Please let me know in the comments. As always, your likes and comments will be greatly appreciated. But more than anything, thank you so much for watching this video.